Aquatic plants are beautiful and can help filter out nitrates plus other toxins in your aquarium. But all kinds of unwanted pests can find a home in your tank and traditional cleaning methods can pose risks for fish as well as plants. You may have a fear of damaging your plants and an even greater fear of harming your fish. You may be confused about which technique is safe. And you worry that you may not have removed all of the poisonous cleaning chemical that you use to disinfect your plants. You need a simple answer and you need it right away. Introducing reverse respiration. Our simple, inexpensive and foolproof technique was first revealed on a popular online Aquarist forum. To test it for yourself, just follow our step-by-step -step instructions at the end of the video. So what are some of those risky common cleaning methods that many people use? We tested peroxide, alum, vinegar, and bleach. Each took a different length of time to work, but all had some disadvantages. For example, peroxide is a disinfectant and an oxidant, so it's toxic and caustic. Alum and vinegar are extremely acidic, can alter the pH, and are caustic. And chlorine bleach is the most poisonous and caustic of all. All will poison your fish if they're not rinsed enough. All stopped chloroplast movement and killed plant cells. And none were 100% effective in getting rid of pests. Two solutions others tested were copper sulfate, which damages plants and fails to get rid of pests, and potassium permanganate, which is poisonous and leaves bad stains. Chemical-free reverse respiration exploits the difference in the way plants and parasites breathe. Parasites breathe in oxygen and plants absorb carbon dioxide. A pure CO2 environment asphyxiates pests and enriches plants. In a pure carbon dioxide environment, it takes only 30 minutes to clear parasites and five to 12 hours to kill algae and diatoms. So here's what we did. We used common fish tank pests, snails, worms, eggs and insect larvae, or dynamic entities, as well as algae and diatoms, or static entities. Six months after being treated with reverse respiration, no eggs remained viable, no pests survived, no plants perished, there was no damage to the cell contents, proteins, enzymes, and chloroplasts when viewed under a microscope, vascular activity did not lessen or slow down, chloroplast population increased, also visible under a microscope. Plants grew early new sprouts and experienced early pearling when a plant generates oxygen and starts to form bubbles resembling pearls in the water. And plants gained more intensity of color, similar to or superior to an untreated new plant. We concluded that reverse respiration is our gentlest, most effective plant cleaning method. With reverse respiration, no special equipment is required. It kills dynamic and static pests, including most bacteria. It's cheap costing less than one US dollar per treatment. It leaves no toxic residue, and it's easy. The longest part, the 12 hour soak, is done overnight. Wanna try it for yourself? Here's what you need. Plain unflavored seltzer or club soda, enough to completely cover your plants. Your plants, a container or containers large enough to cover your plants, a dark place to leave the plants for 12 hours, and fresh water to rinse the plants when finished. But before you begin, here are some pro tips. Always use a freshly opened bottle of seltzer so there's enough pressure and the correct pH. Never dilute or heat the seltzer. Never use an additive of any kind. Never seal the container with the plants. Lightly cover the container before placing it in the dark. Never use mineral water or sparkling water. Avoid shaking the seltzer and fully submerge the plants, adding weight to them if needed.
Pour freshly opened seltzer into an open lid container. Place plants into seltzer. Stir gently to help it penetrate difficult areas and add weight to keep them submerged. Leave plants undisturbed in a dark place for 5 to 12 hours. Remove plants and rinse well in fresh water. Place plants in the tank. And that's it! Your tank water will provide enough oxygen to kill any remaining anaerobes. There will be no worms, larvae, eggs, snails, or surviving algae. All the carbonation and excess oxygen will have dissipated. The only residue left will be water. For more information, visit us at reverserespiration.com, where you'll find testimonials from others who have used reverse respiration and bonus articles like these. Alternative nitrate reduction via emergence, a brief history of prime, good vibrations, low O2, and poison potholes. And be sure to check out our upcoming projects at reverserespiration.com. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.